Hello guys, Pretty Losers here, mine is Christy, and we are here to chat about us. NSVs. <laughs> what are we talking about, ladies? I thought we were talking about NSVs. We yeah. are, but what does NSV mean, anyway? Non-scale victories. <laughs> There's my track button that Nirvana loves. <laughs> you always have to hit that at least once. <laughs> so we're going to start with Nirvana because she may have to like coast out of here pretty soon. Boo. And um, we'll just go ahead and start with her. And if you guys have any comments, you can either message Heather, Nirvana, Lena, or myself. You can leave it on the Pretty Losers uh, Facebook or um, the YouTube, the YouTube. I don't know what, what my problem is with the YouTube. Isn't there a, a little, like you can open the chat box on the side where it allows them to, to make comments? Q&A? It yeah. says it's disabled. I don't know how you able that. Sorry, guys. Uh, <laughs> so, I'm, I mean, like, when we're... I think there are a different level of, like, NSVs. Like, I think... You know, there's a lot of stuff people take for granted, and there's a lot of stuff that people don't take for granted, and there's a lot of stuff that would be a specific NSB for me that other people, you know, are just like, I don't, yeah, whatever. Um, I don't know what kind are we talking about. Like, are we are we talking about like clothes or anything? Video? Yeah, I I would like to talk about mostly like what we could do now versus what we couldn't do at our heaviest. And I know that opens up like a big floodgate for a lot of us, but um, I think it's important to remember those things that we couldn't do versus now that we can do and things that we are wanting to do. So maybe like short-term goals versus long-term goals versus, oh my God, I can't believe I can do this. Oh yeah, tell us about like your most recent NSVs. Yeah. Um, I think I think with me specifically, um, I think I was the only one who was wheelchair bound pretty much. Um, so being able to stand and walk in general was something that you know I, I had no hope of doing for such a long time. Um, you're talking years of my life. Uh, so the biggest NSB for me is you know just learning, realizing how long I can stand and that fear of, you know, I'm, I'm going to be in pain and I'm not going to want to do it anymore or my back is going to give out or my legs are going to give out or, you know, being able to push yourself. That's, that's probably my biggest NSV to date is just mainly being able to be mobile because I, I lived so many years of my life unable to be so. Just being able to stand up and like touch my toes is, is an amazing feeling. Like being able to stretch without my husband's help or being able to get into the, the bath, like lifting your leg over the bathtub, no way in hell, no way. You could forget it. There's no way I could do it without him getting into the bathtub and lifting my leg for me and helping me. And it was just, it wasn't possible. I was completely, like I was, I'm going to say I was probably about six months uh, away from being completely bed bound altogether. It would have, it would have just been my body was deteriorating so so fast towards the end of it um, that I have a feeling that had I stayed the course and not lost any weight and stayed the way I was, I would have been completely bed bound. Um, I was already starting to get like the sores. You know, a lot of people who get that big talk about having the big sores on their sides and stuff where it's um, pressure points, you know, be, being yeah. seated for so long. So just having the you know I'm trying all really hard not to cry because I'm I'm so emo emotional like when I talk about you know the way things used it's to be. okay to cry you know but I think just being able to wash myself or being able to walk up and down the steps and not be winded at all be able to put on clothes or just just brush my hair. I was so fat, my arms were so big that I could not reach the back of my hair. My husband had to had to brush my hair for me. There was no way I could do it. It was impossible. 
Like it, my, my arm would reach right here and that was about it. So having my hair down here, which is where I would keep it, um, you know, cause I was agoraphobic. So I never, I never had my hair cut. I never got my hair cut because I wasn't leaving the house to get it done. So, you know, my hair would go pretty long and I would just, I would just leave it like that and he would brush it out for me. Otherwise I would just keep it in a bun. I want so, you to touch on the whole agoraphobic thing. I mean, I think a lot of people that are that big and um, don't, I mean, a lot of normal people, when I say normal, I mean like normal, healthy weight, they don't understand like the whole agoraphobic, they don't understand the whole anxiety, the phobias. Um, I, I really think this is an important topic because I felt like I was always so alone with my anxiety and with my phobias that it wasn't until I met you that I thought, oh my God, there's someone else here that understands what I'm going through. And I think it's really important for us to touch on that because that's something that people don't talk about. It's a weakness and they're ashamed. And um, I just, I really want people to understand that, you know what, well, you're not alone. And I know it's difficult, but. It, it's a very hard subject. Like the, the video that I made right before this one, you know, was a very, very hard um, thing to admit that, you know, I, I am in many ways still messed up. You know, no matter how much weight I lose, I still have a lot of mental issues that I need to fix. So with that being said, being agoraphobic, if you don't know what that means, that means that you're afraid of large open spaces and afraid to go out, to leave your house. Um, I, I, I would say it probably started about 420 pounds. That's probably where it started for me because I noticed, you, you have to realize with me specifically, and it's not like this for everybody, but at 350 pounds, I was 18 years old. I was still partying and having fun with my friends being as large as I was and was able to function. It wasn't until I had an accident to where my, my body was, I, I had gained so much weight trying to heal that, you know, it just, I didn't realize it at the time. So being from 350 to now almost 100 pounds heavier, you know, trying to leave the house, you get stared at. Like, people don't want to admit that they stare at people, but everybody does. It's human. You know, you see someone different. You see someone, you know, out of the ordinary. It, it is human compunction to look. But it's when people don't just look when they stare, when they laugh, when they, you know, nudge the person next to them like, Jesus Christ. That's when it becomes a problem. That's when it is a problem. And that's when a lot of people don't understand those little nudges, those little smiles, that smirk you give somebody, that, that joke that you make with your friends at the dinner table when you see a fat woman sitting out, like eating. That's what makes her not want to leave the house. very touchy subject for me. That's what makes <clears throat> women and men who are severely obese not want to leave the house, not want to function in society because people are hateful. And even if you were just looking, we're all thinking, you know, about that one person that was snickering. You know, it's, it's your mind fucks with you. It really does. Those people like me, you know, it doesn't matter if somebody was just glancing over at me. My mind was telling me they're making fun of me. You know, they think I'm disgusting. They think I stink. They think, you know, they don't want anything to do with me. So it was much easier for me just to hide in my house. It was like I was able to order groceries. So that means that I never had to leave the house for groceries. I stopped going to the doctor because there was, uh, you could not get me out of the house. I was not doing it, you know, and the, and the times that I had left the house, you know, it would be for a very short burst and it would be very hard for me because of my anxiety, you know. So I, I think that, you know, with agoraphobia comes a lot of, you know, fear. It's, mo it's just fear. That's exactly what it is. It's, it's fear of people, fear of, the person that you that you are and you want to hide that 
you know, I was ashamed. I didn't go to my own brother's funeral. And I admit that. I admit that now. And that's really hard for me. My brother died and I didn't go. Because I didn't want my family to see how big I had gotten. And it's not that my family would be mean, you know, not on purpose. But you know how family is. You know that they would be like, you know, what happened to you? How did you let yourself get this way? What's wrong with you? You know, you need help. And the last thing somebody like that who's not ready for help wants to hear is any of that. So I didn't go. And I will probably regret that for the rest of my life. But at that point in time, I, I couldn't. I couldn't face, you know, 50 people that knew me when I was a kid. I just couldn't do it. So it, it's, it's a mental game. It really is. It's very hard. And, you know, if you are struggling with agoraphobia, or blah, 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 agoraphobia I, I highly suggest that you seek some kind of treatment because there is help out there. It, it is a completely different way of life. You can definitely overcome it as hard as it seems. You can definitely find some kind of peace and solace and be able to live a full and happy life. Yeah, I agree. Um, I think I think anxiety is something that we'll all always struggle with as a big person. But um, just the other day, my my husband and I went out to breakfast with my mom, and I and I came home and I I actually texted you when I was there, and I was like, "Yeah, these girls are laughing at me." And the first thing you think is these bitches are thinking, "Why is she out at you know eating breakfast?" She needs to stay home and she doesn't need to eat. And then I was like, and fuck that. I'm eating healthy. I'm enjoying myself. This was for my birthday. And they left and I was like so hurt. And I was just like, I don't want to eat. You know, they're watching me, whatever. And they were leaving and they walked past me. And I was like, damn, those bitches are ugly. Like, yeah, I may be fat. Yeah, I'm working on myself. But... At least I'm a good person inside, and I'm not going to sit here and make fun of these other girls. But that's just ugly that shined right through to the core. But, I mean, we we all struggle with this. And, and if you feel like you're slipping and you're going into that anxiety versus, like, agoraphobic ways, you don't want to leave, you don't want to talk to your friends or your family, you don't want to go to events, Stop it while, like, stop before it gets to where you're not leaving the house for a year. And I've done that, and I don't ever want to be that like that again. Nirvana's done this, you know. Luckily, the, the other people, our group, haven't done that, but it's, it's real. And if you feel like you're slipping in a place where you need to talk to somebody, do it now because it does not get any easier. And I'm, that's, like, not even a joke. But um, let's lighten the mood and talk about things that you want to do in your near future, Nirvana. Oh, boy. <clears throat> There's all kinds of stuff I want to do. Um, well, I've already done, like, I've already walked more than a 5K. So as fun as doing a 5K is, and I'm like, yeah, I've done a 5K, I think I kind of have to push myself a lot further with that one. You know, I, I was talking to somebody the other day, and they were like, but you already walk like 3.5 miles, and that's nothing for you. And I was like, yeah, I guess shut up. <laughs> so I guess I kind of have to, to figure out something else to do for that because I'm up to seven miles at one at one stretch. So Wait, 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 what? How many? Seven. Okay. Wow. So wow. I'll have to figure out else to do besides you know just get the the pretty metal because you know that that's not enough it's never enough for me which it which is kind of strange now you know before you couldn't get me to to roll over like i'd be like mm -mm, i'm just gonna lay in this one spot i'm good i'm good no no no, mm -mm, no. but now I, I just i can't wait like tonight i'm going to go to the gym i went last night but you know i think that um in the near future i want to go to six flags I want to go to uh, Disney World. I want to go to Disneyland because my husband loves Disneyland. And my mom actually works uh, for Disney World, so I'll get to go down there and have some fun there. Uh, 
I want to go mountain climbing. I want to see how far I can go now and then hopefully by the first of the year try it again. So I want to see I like to I like to push myself. I like to see exactly how far I get and a lot of people are like, "Well, what if you fail? What if you fall?" Well, then, okay. Get back up. I'll get the hell back up and start over again. That, that's the whole fun of this. I never experienced any of this. I never had, you know, my first mountain climbing. You know, I never had like the first the first time I walked a mile. I never had a mile in my life. Hell no. <clears throat> get out of here. You know, yeah, other than that. Mm -mm. You couldn't even get me a gym class to walk a quarter of a mile. They're like, nope, sitting down. I'm tired. Ah, ah, nope, nope, nope. My side hurts. Oh, <laughs> my asthma's acting up. I just, I'm just going to sit down. <coughs> yeah. So, but you have to realize I'm old and that was acceptable back then. So you literally could just show an inhaler and they'd be like, oh, nope, nope. You go ahead and sit down. <laughs> <laughs> Sit on down, fatty. We don't want you to die on the field. We're good. We're good. So, you know, that's that's high school back then compared to now. They're like, get get out there. What's wrong with you? But, uh, so, yeah, I want to eventually try to do a triathlon. So, you know, I saw somebody uh, losing weight, Kate. I don't know if anybody else follows her. Mm -hmm. I, so cute. I don't talk to her specifically, but I like to watch her videos from time to time, and she is awesome. And yeah. That made me really happy. So eventually, you know, I would love to do, you know, a triathlon, you know, the swimming, the biking, and then the walking, which may not be until sometime at the end of next year or maybe the year after that, but it will get done. Yeah. I deem it so. Do it, girl. Who's next? I think Heather's next. Okay. Well, I'm actually surprised at the turn that this – evening has gone because my NSBs are actually very related to what we're talking about. So doesn't that just work out? So I really haven't talked about this much on my channel. I think I touched on it really briefly, but since we moved here to Texas, I've put on, I don't know, 60, 60 pounds in just over two years. And as the weight started creeping on, I, you know, I've never heard of agoraphobia before, if you can believe that. I just always called it social anxiety. I don't know if it's just this, the same thing. It's probably not exactly the same, but that's what I called it. But, you know, my husband is away at sea quite often. And slowly as the weight was coming on, I just, you know, I wasn't really seeing it at the time, but now since I'm seeing the changes, I really am seeing how bad it got for me. But he would be gone for a couple weeks, and there were literally times he'd come home and he's like, what did you guys do? And literally, we like left the house twice in weeks. I mean, that my world was like in, in this room for that long. I didn't want to go out anywhere because with me, I am six foot three. I can't go anywhere and blend in. I stick out like a sore thumb everywhere. And that scared the shit out of me. I didn't want anybody to see me. I didn't want anyone to look at me. And I can't avoid it. It just happens, especially down here where we live. I mean, the, I'm freaking two feet taller than everybody. I mean, it's just I really, really stand out. And whether people were looking at me just because I'm tall or whatever, it made me feel. I mean, I literally, there were some days I'd get the courage to take my son to the mall, to the play area, because he really likes that. And we would be, okay, I don't want to cry. <laughs> Holy shit, hold on. We would, we would be walking past like a, a store window and I would see my reflection and I would turn around and go home. I'm sorry, I didn't know this was going to make me cry. And it was really hard because it took so much for me to get the courage to leave the house to do that for him and I couldn't even do it I mean it didn't even take someone to look at me sometimes it just took me seeing myself because you know you get to the point where you start looking in the mirror and all you see is like 
your face. Or sometimes you can look in the mirror and not even see anything that's there. You just learn to ignore what you see. And I think that's what I was doing. And when I saw my reflection in that store window and I could see my whole body, I was just like, holy shit, I cannot believe that is what I look like. And after that day, it started getting worse. And it got to the point, like, I didn't even want to go get the mail. I was afraid. And, I mean, I live in a small neighborhood. There's not a lot of people out there. But I was afraid of anybody seeing me. I have one neighbor who always wants to talk up a freaking storm. And I would, like, look out the window to make sure she was in her freaking house. Like, and I would run out there so fast to get the mail. I mean, that is... I just can't believe that that is what my life was like here. I mean, and I really haven't talked to anybody about it. My husband doesn't even know. I mean, I just ignore it. But anyway, I know how you guys feel. I really do. And um, the good thing is <laughs> my biggest, like, NSV was getting my hair cut because going to the mall and sitting in a chair where someone's, like, looking at you and evaluating you and you see yourself in front of you. Like, I did the same thing. That's why I had my hair in a ponytail for three freaking years because I didn't want anyone to just be looking at me up close, like, under a microscope. And I'm sure that the guy who cut my hair the other day doesn't even remember what I look like. But to me, it's just, like, the scariest thought. And so the fact that I did that was, like, huge. And then secondly, when I posted my picture on Facebook, because I'm, I have a personal Facebook page, I haven't posted a picture of myself in years, like literally. It's just my page is all of my kid and some of my husband in there too. So for me, like to post a picture of myself, that was just like a really, really big deal. And it's really hard for me to take compliments. Like when someone says, oh, you look so pretty. Like the first thing I want to think to do is like make a joke or make fun of myself or say, oh, stop, you know, or just blow it off. So that was like a really... Probably the biggest NSV was doing that. Um, funny NSV is my underwear is loose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's pretty cool because tight underwear, it makes you bitchy. I mean. <laughs> so. <laughs> so I don't know anybody who wasn't when they're wearing tight underwear. That's <laughs> funny. <laughs> So anyway, I, just, sorry, I didn't know I was going to get all freaking emotional. Jeez Louise. But see, it's because I don't talk about this shit, you know? You bottle yeah. stuff up, you just bury it, you pretend it's not a problem, and see, when you talk about it, just like... But anyway, that felt good to get that off my chest, so... That's good. Anyway. That's probably, uh, <clears throat> but I just, I really, I really want you to know that, like... I think you're beautiful, and the more I get to know you, I just think that you're beyond awesome. And when I see your pictures, I'm like, oh, my God, she does not even realize how pretty she is. Gorgeous. And the same with Lena and the same with Nirvana and the same with Christine. It's like I look at you girls and I'm, or you ladies, and I'm just like, wow, these girls are just gorgeous. Like, you're gorgeous, and it, I just want to bite y'all. I know, I know, I know. But um, I really think you guys need to see that in yourselves more, and I'm excited that you're starting to see that. And I noticed you've been putting makeup on more, and lip gloss, and your hair is beautiful, and and I, I totally understand everything you're saying, and it's good to know that you're not alone, you know. And that, today, I, went, I heard the mailman, and I walked out the door and just got it. Then when I came inside, I was like, I didn't even look, like, I always look out my kitchen window because that's where I can see the lady's house who talks to me all, all the time. And I didn't even do that today. Like, it was just, it's just nice to not have all of those thoughts racing through your head and just, you can just live. You know what I mean? I, I love it when I stop for a second. I'm like, whoa, I just did that? Who is that girl? Like, I just, or, when, or when you, like, notice stuff weeks later, like, oh, shit, I did that? Yeah. Like, you don't even notice that. until, like, days later or weeks later. It's crazy. Yeah. Yep. So, I'm very proud of you. Nirvana, do we have any questions or anything? Um, I want to believe you. Hold on. Ah. 
Um, I know you uh, were looking over there. Uh, so right now we have do 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 do. BSG Granny says, "Uh, so glad I found you." A teeny tiny chummy for Christine says, "Hello, everybody." Uh, Gabby Kitty says, "I found your post via S uh, Weight Loss blah, 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 blah. Weight Loss Surgery YouTube Addicts." Guppy says, "Oh hi, I'm here." Uh, she's late, but she's here. And then we have uh, Zena BSG Warrior. Oh, I love her. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I hope I didn't miss much. So that's what we've got so far. And then I don't see anybody on YouTube. Not YouTube, but um, Facebook who said anything on my Christy end. You said something. Hmm. You said Christy said something. No, no, no. Oh, me. okay. I was like, Guppy, did you get your extra um, cup of coffee, coffee in? I know she's probably climbing the walls. <laughs> Guppy, we're gonna get you on here. So you just be ready. Yes. We're ready to chat we're with coming. You, Guppy. We're coming for you, Guppy. We're coming for you, Guppy. <laughs> okay, Lena, what about you? Let's go with oh well she left us. Uh -huh. what is oh, she's not gonna share anything with us, so she's gone. She's oh. like bye. What? <laughs> oh. There she is. Hey Lena. Stop leaving us. We're talking. I, sorry. I need to excuse my stupid phone today that keeps kicking me off every five seconds, which I'm ready to throw it across the room. <laughs> it's frustrating me. Well, why don't you tell us your things that you've noticed that have changed and what you want to do in your near future? Well, um, to start off, um, I'll start off with the bad. Um, I also went through what you guys went through but mine was not recently mine was probably about oh how many years ago probably over 10 years ago maybe 12 13 years ago my friends would come over this is how bad it was my friends would come over and they wouldn't even knock at my door they would go straight to my bedroom window because they knew i was in my bedroom I would be locked in my bedroom all day. I would just come out to get something to eat or to the restroom, and that would be it. It was just wanted to be locked in my bedroom because I didn't want to deal with anybody or anybody to see me or anything like that. So my friends knew if they wanted to visit me, just come to my bedroom window, sit on top of the car that was parked outside of the window, and have a chat like a serenade through my window. <laughs> Um, what I ended up doing, well, what my father ended up doing for me was taking me to Mexico. He ended up driving to Mexico in his truck to take me because he didn't want me to be ashamed and have to pay for two seats on the airplane. So we drove for three days to go. Oh, oh no. She probably just threw her phone outside after that. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. like to, to Mexico. <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys, this is the way it's gonna go. I'm so sorry. It's okay. Um, and the reason why he did that was not to take me to a specialist over there or anything. Where we're from, we're from a ranch that only has about a hundred and something houses there. Half of the houses. Are, don't have people living there only on vacation they live here and on vacation they go over there so it's a very peaceful place it's like a you turn you do a 360 and all you see are mountains and trees and everything there's nothing there at the ranch but a church and maybe three little stores somebody has working out of their home and stuff so he took me there and that's what worked for me because it was family nobody was criticizing me no well if they did they did not notice whatever but um, I also went on a diet when I was over there. And that, you know, when I came back, like, I was a different person. And um, thankfully, I never went back to that. Yes, I gained all my weight back plus more. But for some reason, I never went back to that. So I was thankful for that because that was a very awful part of my life that I went through. And like you guys said, I don't, you know, I wish, I never wish that upon anybody because it's the worst ever to just lock yourself in the room and, you know, or the home or whatever it is and not want anybody to look at you. Um, I was very mobile, even at my highest of, you know, 5'10". 
Um, I didn't have a problem getting around or anything, but of course, now that I'm almost 200 pounds less, I could do a lot more. I could move a lot easier. I could go to the store and not look for a close parking and be like, oh God, I'm going to have to walk all the aisles. There she went again. <laughs> She's on purpose so she gives us cliffhangers. I know. <laughs> da, 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 da. The aisles and then... Oh, what? Oh man. She's not coming back, guys. <laughs> We're never going to know how this ends. Never going to know what happens when she gets down the aisle. <laughs> okay, I guess that was enough NSVs for me. <laughs> oh, no. We need to know what happened when you went down the aisle. The grocery oh, aisle. What about it? <laughs> <laughs> No, it's just, it's you know, mines are, are not, like Nirvana was saying, they're maybe not big for other people, but for, for me, you know, they were, like, crossing my leg. Like, now I do it without even thinking about it, you know. It's just little things that I was not able to do back then that I'm able to do now, and I still have a long way to go. I still have, like, 120 pounds to go to hit my goal, what, you know, the goal that I think I will be happy in. I've never been that way. I probably was last that way, like in third grade or something, because I've always been big. Yeah. Um, but um, just simple little things like that, you know, not even thinking twice about going to a restaurant and hoping and wishing that there's actual chairs and not just booths. God, yeah. You know, it, it was so, like, I wouldn't want to go out with my friends because I was like, oh, my God, if there's just booths so I don't fit in there. The movie theater, no, because I'm going to be all on their business, all on their chair. Um, another scary thing, which some of you guys might understand if you guys drive, having somebody going out with somebody and then say, I'll pick you up. No, 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 no. I'll drive myself there because you're worried that you won't fit in the cart correctly and you'll be all on top of them or the seatbelt won't buckle you know what I mean little things like that not wor you know not worrying about that anymore um I don't know it's just you know <sighs> oh we lost Heather too oh there she is I'm breaking <laughs> up with Lena that's it <laughs> all no. these fingers how dare you Sisters' wives can't break up. Yeah. What's up with that? We're going to have to go live on Lena's dad's ranch, by the way. Because he's only got <sighs> It's beautiful, beautiful over there. And so peaceful. That's why my parents only come once a year to come see us now. Because life over here is so stressful and so... That over there is just fresh air with all the trees and everything. And, you know, it's just a different life. And that was very thera therapeutic for me and worked for me. And, um, yeah. Um, I remember another thing is I remember always wanting to fit into jeans when I was little. And I remember one time my mom took me to a store and I she bought me some red jeans which oh my god I love but they were men jeans because I didn't fit in girl jeans because back then I think the biggest was like a size 18 mm -hmm. or something like that you yeah. know and back then you didn't wear your jeans tight like you do now well mm -hmm. at least the way I wear them that's right nobody wears like my jeans as tight as you do okay right. I like my jeans tight honey yes I do <laughs> whatever oh. don't judge me I put them on. You don't have to zip them up for me. So Heather whatever. doesn't even like her chonis tight. Could you imagine? No, I don't like my chonis tight. Mm -mm. No. Mm -mm. What's the difference? No. You have your your jeans on that are like a glove. Mm, <laughs> it's different because my jeans are tight on my legs, but not tight on my waist. I agree because I like tight pants too. Yes, I like my pants painted on my legs. <laughs> I thought chonis were like fried dough with cinnamon on it. No? No? Isn't that a churro? <laughs> <laughs> Are you leaving that there? We're not talking about churros, okay? <laughs> <laughs> that there 
Oh my god. <laughs> Your body's over there thinking about churros. <laughs> churros, yummy. That's another <laughs> Mexican tradition. <laughs> Oh man. Are you guys talking about different kind of churros? No, we're not gonna talk about churros today. But um Okay, well we should um I'm gonna talk really briefly about what what my uh like I wouldn't be able to walk from like my front door to the car without dying. I used to not want to open up my front door when the doorbell rang. Um getting the mail, no way. Uh uh-uh. talking to my neighbors, no. Um, I still don't think my friends really know where I live sometimes, because I wouldn't open the door if they came over. So, um, now that's changed a lot, (laughs) um, I was in the shower the other day and I noticed that I have a thigh. I haven't seen that in a while. You have two. I, but I only found one, so. Oh, okay. Hey, you found found one at least. (laughs) When you excavate the next one, let us know. I will let y'all know. Yeah. Um, I can paint my toes and put my socks and my shoes on by myself now. I can brush my hair. Um, I do not get tired cooking anymore, so there is no use for a chair in the kitchen. Um, what else? I can leave my house all day and not think I'm going to die. <laughs> I think about dying every two seconds. Um... You could come on here and let everybody see you. Yeah, and I'm not afraid that um, I might be afraid of the snow still, but I don't know yet. So we'll we'll, we'll wait and see if I'm still afraid of snow. Um, But I think I'm doing a lot better, and we'll see as we go. And um, what do you want? I I can't wait to do um, travel again, like on an airplane. I really miss going like on vac- like on road trips by myself. I know that's yeah, because you're gonna come see me in Nirvana. I'm gonna pick Heather up and we're gonna go see y'all. Chrissy's gonna have to come fly over here because I'm not driving to fucking Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Chrissy, I don't I don't know what you're smoking, but you gotta fly over here. Get your newlywed butt over here. <laughs> But um, I'm definitely excited about the possibilities of things versus um, a year ago. I probably wouldn't even think about it. No. No. And I talk to people all day now, like on the phone and stuff, and I'm not afraid of them. Yeah, we do. I really enjoy it. I really enjoy talking to people, even though they're assholes. When I get off the phone, I'm like, oh, my God, I just did that. And I really like it. I really like it. And I'm learning a lot about myself. And that old person that I used to know, um, she's getting her ass kicked. And whatever. But who's coughing? My sister. Thick. <laughs> but. Anybody want to add anything? Do we have any more comments or questions? Is Guppy wearing any clothes? <laughs> Would you she tell us if you're naked? She might be naked and, and naked in a pile of leaves. We need to be on Naked and Afraid Pretty Loser style. Lorena says, great way to go, Heather. Love you, girl. Your courage. Wait. And your courage to go there, XO, 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 XO. And then VS- <laughs> VSG Bulldog in the house. Woo woo! Uh, yeah. Okay, so Kim Can Do It says, Heather, you are all so beautiful, and now I'm feeling re- really bad for saying you clean up well. Oh my God, I was just kidding around. <laughs> I asked her, I said, How did you watch me pre up? I look so, I look like ass. And she said, I just squinted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's so hilarious! Oh my god, who is that? Kim can uh, do it. Yeah, she cracks me up. And Guppy says, "No, I didn't get it yet, but I'm good. Enjoying the convo, and I can't wait to join you, ladies." 
And then Summer RNY Oakley says, hello, I'm here. I just wanted to say that I love all you guys and really enjoy watching you interact together. Look forward to doing this in the future. Hi, and Summer. <laughs> and then Kim Can Do It says, again, all you are very beautiful. I love you guys. Mm. And then Guppy says she can't wait to chit-chat with us. And then Is Guppy wearing any clothes? That's my question. <laughs> Guppy, are you naked? Can you be naked? Um, Summer RNY says again, also, I really applaud all of you for sharing your issues and getting so raw and emotional. I love it. Uh, VSG Granny says, all of you ladies are wonderful, and I'm so glad I've been able to connect, even though it's electronically. Where Aww. else can you so many people who accept and respect you no matter what? That's beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, Dawn is on here. Dawn says, hi, y'all. Hi. <laughs> Guppy says she loves the cliffhangers, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it's gone again. <laughs> She's out of here. <laughs> there she is. Life God damn, Lena. She's such a tease. Uh, Life of Mel says, Heather, social anxiety is what I've called it, too. You said, what you said really hit home for me. Aw. And then uh, Lorena says, so we can plan a trip to the ranch, ladies. Sounds like heaven. Yeah. <laughs> and then a, t a teeny tiny tummy for Christine, that's such a cute name, says, for years I would only ride in the back seat of cars because I would not fit in the front seat. So it's nice to be able to see where we're going, and I could not find jeans that fit me at 475. Totally understand the back seat thing. Amen yeah. to Amen to that. And then uh, Summer RNY says, oh, my God, that was hysterical churros. So that's what we've got so far. You guys are so awesome tonight. We really appreciate everybody commenting. It's so much fun when Thank you guys interact with this. Now I'm going to have to watch this video when I get off of here since I get kicked, get kicked, keep getting kicked out and I have to go back and see what you guys said about churros. Uh, Lena, I may have left you an Easter egg for later. What does that mean? No, no boy, no. And it's hidden in a video. Do you guys not know what that means? I didn't egg. hear. Say it again. I said I left her an Easter egg in the video with, about the churros. That was for Lena because she'll be like, ay, 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 I can't believe you said that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're professionals here. I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm not, not even close. <clears throat> but honestly, you guys, you know, I, <clears throat> sharing our stories with everybody is, is, is a, f f you know, a phenomenal way to validate, you know, our journeys. It, it, at least for me. I don't know how Trisha and everybody else feels, but for me specifically, being that 500 plus person and feeling so alone and so hurt and, and constantly worrying if I was going to have a heart attack the very next day or if I was going to wake up at all or, you know, hiding in my house. Having other people who know what that feels like, the outpouring of support and love and care that we get from the weight loss community is phenomenal. It, it is such a breath of fresh air, especially for people like, I guess all of us have experienced the social anxiety aspect of this journey and have felt so alone and just scared of what others would think of us. And I know that a lot of times people are like, who cares what they think of you? You do. Whether you want to or not, it's it's something that, that it's, it's a compunction. It happens. I, I literally had the, you know, I would get panic attacks just for trying to walk outside my door. We lived with my husband's father and, you know, his, his father and his new wife and everything lived on the other side of the house. And I would literally stop breathing if I thought they could see me between the panes of the glass going to the kitchen. Like I just, I, just, I couldn't handle it. And it was nothing to do with them, you know, because I'm sure if they saw me walk, you know, wheeling by to the kitchen, it's nothing on their part. But for me specifically, the, just, the thought of what they thought of me, you know, being in my wheelchair was enough to, to send me into a full-blown panic, panic attack. So, um, you know, that, that's my two cents of the whole thing. Um, you know, I, I really appreciate everybody who showed up today and has said something really sweet. And everybody on the Facebook and meeting everybody so far has been, you know, for me, 
specifically has been an amazing part of my journey and I would not trade it for anything. Okay. Well, I think we're going to end this because you got to go to the gym, but I want us to end this uh, with saying your name and who you're not anymore. We'll start with Nirvana. No, throw something else. I'm always first. Okay, I'll start. Um, my name is Trisha, and I am not the girl that's afraid to answer the door anymore. Lena? Cochina? <laughs> my name is Lena, and I am not a Cochina. <laughs> there she is. My name is Lena, and, um, God, that's, uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. there's so many, um, I don't know. Um, I'm not afraid of going out and feeling that I'm going to get judged because of my weight. Even though I'm still really big and still have a long way to go, it's still completely different of how I used to feel back then. That's good. Heather is up next in the hot seat. Okay, I am no longer afraid of anyone to see me or talk to me, and I'm living life now again. Oh, that's a good one. I love that. Nirvana's is probably going to make me cry because she always does. <laughs> um, I am no longer the person who would call every place like a restaurant or the movie theater and find out what size their chairs were or if it had a stall or if it only had booths and then decide whether or not I was going to go out that day. Good. That's really good. Really I'm so good. proud of all of you. I'm proud of y'all too. And I think every one of us is beautiful. And I would like to say that y'all are all my favorite pre losers. And I hope Guppy is still naked. <laughs> but I guess we're in this so Nirvana can go get her sweat on. And this could do it without me. No way. We're in this. But we'll talk in two weeks. Are so we going to do it every two weeks? Mm -mm, next week. Oh, okay. We're going to do it next week. Why don't you guys tell us what you want us to talk about and we will do it. And hopefully we'll have a guest. Hopefully. Yay. And hopefully said guests will be naked. <laughs> <laughs> and um, everybody Gummy, has, can you hear us? Everybody has agreed to do the naked November. So I started we, already. Did I agree to that? <laughs> yeah, you did. We um, have it. We have it somewhere. <laughs> and um Lena is the Cochina. Just don't let her persuade you that she's oh, not. Bye. Stop lying. All right, guys. I love your faces. My big old butt is going to the gym. Love you All guys. right, y'all. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.